February 20th and 21st, Monday and Tuesday. So the sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Pisces. Shh, it's a new moon. And it's a time to go in. If a baby were born with this, and there are such famous people that are double Pisces, they have such a sensitivity to the other worlds. And they are reclusive because when it's a dark night, it's a dark moon, you go in, you don't want to be around people. And Pisces' best thing is reflection, meditation, music, things that you do alone, painting, writing. Now, we've talked about this all last week, this whole last week. The sun and Saturn are conjunct. And that means that the sun is in Pisces, but Saturn's in Aquarius. Sometimes when they're out of sign, because the geometry always wins in astrology, Saturn's at 28 degrees, the very last degree of Aquarius. The sun is in very early degree of Pisces, but they're still together. So even though it's a dark sky, it's a disciplined moment this Monday and Tuesday. I really ask you to take heed on how much you don't have to talk. That would be a great exercise. Okay. Can I just speak to the birthdays that are here? February 20th, Trevor Noah. Isn't this the most interesting thing? A man from South Africa comes to America, is a comedian, and he has this voice and this way of putting himself. I find that this is the charisma of a Pisces. They have some kind of ability to take you into an altered world where it doesn't make sense. The other one whose birthday is a Sidney Portier, and he also had this incredible charisma, this incredible ability, both of them, to lure us, and that's the double Pisces. So during these couple of days, let yourself be in that softer space. It's not easy. You watch these videos. Do you pay attention? Do you actually apply it? Do you listen and notice that it's asking to be quiet? that there's a charisma in the air that's waiting for you to be listening, and that is music and meditation and poetry and internal worlds, it's still got that Saturn conjunct sun. So it's a serious invitation I'm giving you during this new moon. Let's do a prayer. May you find comfort in the soft part of this reality where there's not such loud music, where you're allowed to feel your feelings, where you pay attention to energies that some people are drawing you in, and some people are repelling you, and that you spend the time during this moon to do a prayer that says, allow me to have the gift of deep listening. Give me the discipline, Saturn conjunct the sun, of really valuing my own intuition and not walking over it, not during a double Pisces sky. May you all put attention on the softer part of your inner voice whispering to you. Astrology answers wanted me to say, shh, go inside.